Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Friday, that day of the week where you're so excited for the weekend, and then you check your YouTube subscriptions, and you see that a new What The Fitness has dropped. Oh yeah, it's time to get them. But first, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, leave a comment for the algorithm, or just tell me how much I suck, because it's still good for the algorithm no matter what you do. In fact, that's better, because then people get in there and then they're debating back and forth. So all you haters out there, love you too. I know the video we're gonna use today for What The Fitness, and once again, we have to give a huge shout out to Dr. Mark Hyman. Without you, sir, we would be a dearth of content. But thanks to you, we have content for years to come. Because every time you open your mouth, a WTF comes out. So this is from the podcast, The School of Greatness, I think with Lewis Hoes. Hows? Hoes? I think it's Hows. Apologies. I actually read Lewis's book a while back. I relatively enjoyed it. But man, the guests he's had on his show, it, it's quite obvious that some of these podcast hosts, and he's not the only one, but they have an idea of what they want to be true with regards to nutrition. And they just bring on guests who support their previous bias, unfortunately. I actually talked to him about like, hey, would you be interested in having somebody on your show who's not full of crap? And uh, he didn't seem to be too interested in that. In fact, he got very upset that I was telling him a lot of the claims on his show were false. So Lewis, if this upsets you, then maybe consider having somebody on your show that's not completely full of crap. Maybe Dark, Hi Dark Hyman. <laughs> I like that. Dark Hyman, not Dr. Mark Hyman, Dark Hyman. That's gonna stick. Dark Hyman, his name is now Darth Hyman. And I am Lane Data Walker. I don't know. Somebody come up with a Star Wars reference for me. Let me know in the comments. Let's see what Darth Hyman has to say. Cancer is caused by food. Really? 70%. 70% <laughs> of cancer is caused by food. And sugar is the number one culprit. <laughs> heart the, disease, can... diabetes, Alzheimer's, heart disease, the big killers you are heart sugar and heart? food. Yes. Yeah. So if you change your diet, you should be able to cure, prevent, those. prevent. Or cure sometimes. Sometimes cure, depends ah, how yeah. far along things are, I yeah. guess. Yeah. But you can prevent heart disease, Alzheimer's. 100%. Yes, 100%. I mean, the studies are there. It's crazy. Even people who have Alzheimer's not when they improve their diet, they can wake they up more and get functionality yeah. back. So this is such like I hate using this word because it's been overused recently. But this is so toxic. First off, it's victim blame because I and I I hate this. Anytime somebody gets diagnosed with cancer, the first thing people do is like, well, they did this thing and they did that thing and they ate this and they ate that. Let me be very clear. <laughs> you. People, seriously, f you. You're pieces of shit. Like, you're basically saying, oh, if you have any kind of health disorder, uh, you did it to yourself. 70% of cancer is not caused by diet. I'll tell you where he pulled that statistic. He pulled it right out of his hole, because that's what he is, okay? He's an hole. There was actually a recent, I believe it was a meta analysis, looking at sugar intake when they considered total energy. So when you consider total energy, did you know that there's zero, none, zilch, nada evidence to show that sugar contributes to cancer or heart disease? Now, if you overconsume it, yes, it can contribute to heart disease and possibly cancer, especially energy-driven tumors, things like breast cancer and whatnot. But when you just consider the fact that it's just added calories. Now, is it possibly a contributor insofar as People tend to overconsume sugar, possibly, yes. But he never puts that qualifier on, and it's very important. There's always unintended consequences to this stuff. And usually I see it in the form of eating disorders. People are so petrified to eat anything because they're afraid that they're gonna give themselves cancer or cardiovascular disease because of morons like this who just run around pulling things out of their soul and just spouting off nonsense. Much of the whole cancer hype comes from this idea called the Warburg hypothesis, which has been disproven by the way, but I digress. The Warburg hypothesis was that all cancers share a common trait of dysfunctional mitochondria. They aren't able to use ketones as fuel. And so basically if you reduce sugar and you do a ketogenic diet, 
you can starve cancer. I have a friend, Dom D'Agostino, who do, has done some of this research. For certain specific tumors, it does appear that a ketogenic diet may have benefits. And when I say may, I'm talking about there's rodent research, okay? But there are also tumors that actually prefer ketones and that ketones actually help the tumor grow. It appears to be tumor dependent. And that's because cancer, my friends, is not one disease. It is a group of diseases with different causes and should be treated relatively differently depending on the cancer type. So just taking this kind of blanket statement and saying, yeah, cancer is caused 70% by food, in particular sugar. No, no, it's not. There's no evidence of that. And you just pulled it out of your soul, Darth Hyman, and just spout it out because it's part of your narrative. We have so many studies that has disproven exactly what this guy claims, like directly refuted, and he still puts them out there as fact. Why? Because he's not a scientist. He's worried about selling books and pushing a narrative. He's not a scientist. If you continue to defend a position in the face of overwhelming data, you're not a scientist, you're a politician. He should get into politics. He'd be great. Maybe he can become Emperor Palpatine, Emperor Hyman. Links to the actual citations, because I don't just talk shit, are in the description. As well as you can go buy some of our lovely products and services that we offer. Catch you next week.